probably going to be a very short recording, but we're speaking to let people know about an upcoming video project and also putting our money where our mouth is in terms of decentralized collective intelligence and the wisdom yeah. of the crowd and asking for some um, thoughts and contributions and ideas for the project that we're trying to put together. Um, so I'll just outline it very briefly. I guess the, the easiest way to summarize it is that we're wanting to do, like your, your work has been hugely influential on a lot of people on the channel and I think a lot of people have really dived into it and found it incredibly useful, but it's very difficult to know when you think of, oh, I'd love to send a, an introduction to your work to someone, mm -hmm. it's yes. kind of hard to know where to start. Yeah. You've got a 50 hours of awakening from the meaning crisis. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really great interviews, but it's kind of daunting. So what the idea of this film project that I'm going to be flying out to Canada and we're going to record some stuff, we're going to use some graphics, we're going to try and tell the story as best we can, is to answer that question, how do you, what, what piece do you send to people to introduce them to your work? What is the, the, the most fitting on-ramp to your work? And in, in this, what I'd love to do is to, um, yeah, ask people who've dived really deeply into your work to, to maybe get in touch and suggest some ways they think of would be good of treating it. If there's anyone who's particularly skilled at something like animation who would maybe be able to get involved, that would be really useful. And also potentially, is there a project of summarizing much of your work and turning it into a website or some kind of resource that could be something that people could, could then dip into as well? Uh, th yeah, th I think this is uh, very much needed. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm aware of um, how uh, challenging uh, you know, Awakening for the Meaning Crisis is uh, and, and the other series as well. Untangling the World Knot and the Elusive Eye and Towards a Metapsychology, um, they're, they're, all, uh, um, they're all challenging, uh, not because I intended to be so. Part of it is it's just I'm guilty, of, as all academics are, of being trapped in a certain uh, way of talking and teaching. Uh, but uh, also um, uh, the issues, especially in Awakening from the Meaning Crisis that I wrestled with, are, um, are very complex and uh, and. Um, very sort of profound. Um, I, I now look back on the series and there's episodes I'd like to change, in fact. Um, uh, and there's stuff that's been left out. Uh, uh, <laughs> but I wouldn't want to make it a, a, a hundred uh, episode series either. So I think uh, getting people um, a succinct yet representative uh, 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 well, introduction, I guess, uh, to the work um, is needed, is very needed right now. And um, I'm not the right person to do that <laughs> um, uh, for all the reasons I just gave. I'm not the right person to do that. Uh, David is, and uh, but uh, we both are asking for help in this project of trying to do what is needed in order to make the work as accessible as possible. Um, uh, any narcissism aside on my part, um, uh, I think this work is important uh, in the sense that as many people should confront it as possible because of the pervasiveness and the power and the profundity of the meaning crisis. So I, I'm, I'm familiar with your work, obviously, John, but I haven't dived into it as much as some people have. And I know yeah. there'll be people watching this who've really dived into it. And some, um, I'm, I know that there will be some great thoughts and great suggestions of, of, of maybe the right way in or the right, right way of framing it. So I'm going to put an email address on, on screen that people can send some suggestions to or some ideas to. My sense is that what I want to do is frame it around why this, why now? Mm -hmm. Like I think that for me feels like the right on-ramp and that sense of urgency and that sense of um, responding to, to, yeah, re responding to the world as it, as it is rather than a sort of philosophical exploration or a kind of very um yeah I, I think it's also important potentially to have alongside it something like a glossary yes. or explanations of key terms like mm -hmm. i think that's also a really important piece of the of, of the puzzle but i think the the way in for me is 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 why this why now and and so that's how i'm sort of thinking about the the the, the framing of it but i'd be yeah, and, and if there are people who can contribute in other ways to a project like this, I'd also be really interested in hearing from them.
That'd be great. Um, the book, the the series is being turned into a book, two books. The first half of the series has uh, been converted into a book, um, and uh, uh, Madeline Abramian and I we've completed a glossary, about a forty-page glossary, uh, that goes with that. So I'll make that available um, uh, for what, for our project, and we'll be starting to work on the second half of the series. We're working on it right now, in fact. Uh, so that's a, a potential resource we can bring to bear. Yeah, and just generally, I'll throw this out now because obviously my background, even though Rebel Wisdom has mainly been interviews and it's mainly been, um, that's not really my background. My background was much more in documentaries and mm. long form content. And I'm really interested in, it feels to me like I've kind of gone out and, and done this kind of exploration of all these great ideas and all of these great thinkers over the last three years. and and try to kind of show that journey as much as possible on Rebel Wisdom. But I also feel like we need to, we need to interact with the mainstream. Like we need to yeah. find out like what are the pressure points? What would a yes. Netflix version of, of um, Awakening from the Meaning Crisis look like? Yes. Those kind of questions. So I'm really interested to hear from people who might have those sort of skills and experience of dealing with production companies, of dealing with um, high high end television and yes. Yes. might might be able to kind of yeah help us with that kind of question of how do we produce content or how do we package content in a way that that really yeah that that, that can connect with the mainstream and can connect with the existing yeah existing institutions. I think that's really important as well. I agree and. It'd be very useful if we got some more expertise involved in that, exactly that question, uh, because uh, as David has pointed out in a lot of its, his work, uh, the mainstream media is not paying very good attention to all of this, this whole corridor of the internet, uh, as Sevilla King calls it. And uh, to my mind, this is where uh, stealing the culture is happening right now, and it's happening in an increasing pace and an increasing quality. Um, and I think it's important that, uh, I, I don't know what to call it, the culture as a whole uh, has an opportunity to uh, confront this and reflect upon it in, in, in a more direct manner. Yeah, I, I do think that this is, it's timely. I do think it's timely and I do think that it's worth pursuing that question of how do you, how do you kind of format or, or um, package these ideas that can be more palatable for more and more people because I, personally I'm, I'm, I'm interested in sparking or in facilitating, helping to catalyze with others a, a more cultural movement. Yes. And that I think is very, how I very much connect with your sense of stealing the culture yes. and this sense of a, of, of a movement that is kind of nascent but needs to kind of pick up steam and pick up traction. Um, and I'm, I'm also aware that the, the one of the issues is a lot of the things we're talking about are not terribly visual yes so it's, yeah. it's quite it's quite difficult like we're talking about inner states we're yeah. talking about philosophical ideas Th there aren't so many kind of easily visible yes. graspable aspects which is why i think animation is so so key people who can kind of represent some of these ideas in a visual way yes yes who, who have these who have these skills that um yeah, that, that would, would be able to suggest ideas, to get involved, and I think that would be, yeah. I, this is the first time that we've done this um, before. I, I've, I've, I've kind of traveled out to various places and made films with, with various people, Daniel Schmachtenberger and Jordan Hall and others, um, but that was very much a kind of solo thing. And so what I'm hoping for from this conversation and then the process of, of making the film that we can we can actually kind of decentralize a little bit more. We yes. can tap into yeah. the, the collective intelligence and that could be um, a, a model that we can use going forward. Could, we, could this project that we work on together be a model for Rebel Wisdom to become more of a kind of um, decentralized project in, in the future, which will involve delegating, which I'm not very good at, so let's see. <laughs> but, but I'm also excited about that aspect of it. That it's not only... Uh, the material, but the manner, that's very uh, important here. Uh, David is trying something out, and it, uh, it, it's, 
Well, uh, as David said before we started recording, we're, we're trying to put our money where our mouth is, which is we're trying to, we've ta- we talked a lot about trying to access the collective intelligence of distributed cognition and put it towards the project of aspiring to collective wisdom. Here's the opportunity to do it. Here's the opportunity to get involved. And so uh, I think this is very important, again, not only for the content, but for the very project itself. Mm. And just one, one thing I will say is, yeah, we're really, yeah, really looking forward to seeing what comes back. And just to, just to, and everyone watching this, just be, I'd say, just be honest with yourself about what your skill levels are and what your yes. uh, abilities are. Enthusiasm is really important, but also skill levels are, and experience is also really important as well. So yeah. um, I, I would say that just to manage expectations, because I know having done things like this in the past, Often the enthusiasm can be out of whack with the with the levels of experience. So we're we're really looking for people who who've got those levels of experience primarily. I think. Yes, yes. Although we do uh, want suggestions uh, for. Remember, there is an expertise we do want feedback on. All of you are potential audience, and in that in that degree of expertise, we do want to hear from you. Uh, what would work yeah. well as something that you could sit and see and you could share with friends who are unfamiliar with my work. Um, And so that expertise uh, is very much also uh, required.